Good evening, guys. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Maurice. Hi, Georgina. Good evening. Uh, Kenya, good evening. Great to see you as well. Hi, guys. How you doing? Hi, teacher. Fine. And you? I guess I'm doing okay. <laughs> okay. I'm doing just fine. Thank you so much for asking. Um, so, Andrea, great to see you. I'm glad to see you here. Damaris, um, Michelle, Salvador, thank you so much for joining, guys. Espero que hayan tenido un muy buen jueves. I'm hoping you had a nice Thursday. And ready for the weekend, guys. Are you ready for vacation? Ready for end of the year celebrations? Kind of ready. O todavía no, no yet. <laughs> haven't thought about that yet. All right, so um, thank you guys. Gracias por acompañarnos and por unirse a la sesión del día de ahora, uh, la cual es la sesión número 13, right? Session number 13 uh, from unit number three. Guys, el día de ayer les pedía que memorizáramos o que intentáramos aprendernos al menos cinco verbos. Um, guys, ¿cómo les fue con eso? So the idea is, al menos, eh, tal vez no esta lista, but cualquiera cinco verbos you can learn, uh, son bienvenidos. They are like truly welcome. Guys, eh, how did it go with that? Pudieron aprenderse un par de verbos, los practicaron un poquito, los eh, revisaron. More, less. So, so. So, so. Okay, so yeah, so so. All right. Guys, a los demás, como les fue? Did you learn a couple of verbs? ¿Se aprendieron alguno? Did you memorize any? No. <laughs> Well, I hope you got to memorize um, some of them or, you know, um, that you had the chance to practice a couple of them. So, guys, uh, thank you so much. And uh, let's get started. Vamos a revisar un par de ellos. Um, of course. Okay, Abigail, thank you. Uh, of course, la idea es que nos vayamos memorizando un par, right? Lady, good evening. Thank you for joining. Julio Cesar, good evening. Mr. Sanchez, Mr. Narvaez, great to see you. Good Abigail, evening, teachers. Great to see you. Hello, hello. Dinora, like, really glad to see you here as well. All right, guys. Good so, uh, good evening, Miss. Good evening, good evening. So, guys, to get started, I have some questions for you. All right. So, revisemos really quick. And then you give us, like, some info here. All right. Take a look at this one, guys. Tenemos un par de questions to review. Uh, and uh, like, give me an emoji or uh, activate your microphone y cuéntenos un poquito. Give us some information if that is the case. So guys, question number one, for example, here says, um, have you ever run a marathon? Guys, alguien ha corrido una marathon? Have you ever run a marathon? Have you ever participated in a marathon, guys? No. No. Nobody. No. Not even in a okay. school. Ni en la escuela, guys. Not even in a school. Yes. No. Uh, the world. Ah, okay. <laughs> How many kilometers, Julio? It's 70 kilometers. 70? 70? Seven, perdón. Ah, seven. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> wow, that's so admirable. All right, no, but it's a lot. So, okay. Okay, so only Julio has participated. Number two, guys, have you ever gone fishing? I've been a little de pesca, guys. Have you gone fishing? No. No. No, <laughs> no 
Okay, nobody has these experiences. Okay, three. Have you ever done yoga? Guys, has anybody done yoga? No. No, nobody. Oh, interesting. Okay. What about the next one? Have you ever made a cake? Not eaten, but like prefer. Have you ever made a cake? ¿Han hecho algún pastel alguna vez? Have you ever made a cake? No, girls, boys, <laughs> nobody. Oh my God. <laughs> Interesting. Now you can have experiences, guys. Next one. Have you ever visited Hawaii? There is one oh, expression. There is one expression we can use. Uh, porque remember, como son actividades que iniciaron antes, pero que tenemos la esperanza que algún día pasen algunas de ellas, tú puedes utilizar perfectamente la expresión no yet, right? Son no yet es todavía no, ajá, pero está como dentro de mi plan, so no yet, right? All right, have you played chess, guys? This is uh, chess. Have you ever played chess? ¿Alguien ha jugado yes. ajedrez? Have you played chess? Yes, teacher. Yeah, we got you. some. Are you good? Son buenos jugando chess. Are you good at playing chess? No, well, yes. No, no. So, so. The competition, no. Uh, no, not in, co in a competition, but you know, like, like you understand the rules and you can play. Uh huh. So, not necessarily in, in a competition. Okay. And the last one, guys, the last one is thrown up. Have you ever thrown up on a roller coaster? <laughs> Now, guys, que está el Star City, um, Christmas um, celebrations start too. Alguien ha vomitado. Have you ever thrown up on a roller coaster? No. No. Nobody. Nobody has no. thrown up. No me, vomit <laughs> me vomitaron en la espalda, sí, en la Chicago. <laughs> Where? In San Salvador, in Consuma. En San Salvador. In <laughs> Chicago. That's a, okay. That's bad. All right. Guys, have you gone to Surf City? Ya fueron al Surf City? Not yet. Not yet. Uh -huh, no, neither have I. Have you been to the Surf City, guys? Ya fueron? No. Yes. Is it good? Yes, Lo recomiendan? Do you recommend it? Yes. It's a nice yes. place. It's a nice place. Okay. Did you get in the rights? Se subió las ruedas ahí. Did you get in the rights? No, I don't like. Oh, you don't like them. Okay, that's so bad. Okay, okay. Well, we're going to check a couple of more experiences in a moment. But hablando de thrown up, right? Que eso es el verbo throw up, como lo veían en el dibujito. Um, so, también vamos a revisar el día de ahora un par de uh, síntomas. We're going to check some symptoms. Uh, vamos a revisar un poquito de vocabulario para hablar de enfermedades, eh, cómo reportarme enfermo. Well, la unidad se trata de reportar problemas, pero también reportarnos es uno, um, una, un detalle bien importante because uh, we need to report, we need to call our boss, we need to call somebody and say, look, me siento mal, right? So vamos a revisar a little bit of vocabulary, guys, relacionada con eso. Eh, creo que algunas van a ser nuevas or most of them are going to be new. So let's check them super quick. Um, it says here, de hecho son idioms or lo que le llamamos idiomatic right. expressions. So, expresiones que no les vamos a traducir, guys. Please don't translate them. Um, si no saben qué significa, it's okay. Lo buscamos en el diccionario para tener una idea. Or in, the, in Google, que es un poco más certero in this case. No en el traductor, sino en Google, right? Um, but no traducimos. Please no les pongan el traductor porque nos vamos a dar una gran confundida. An idiomatic expression are words or phrases. Um, that means something different from the literally meaning, literal meaning. So, esa es la razón por la cual no la traducimos, porque puede decir una cosa, pero significa algo diferente. So, an idiom son expresiones ya hechas que las vamos a memorizar. We are going to learn them. Y hay muchísimos idioms. Americanos usan muchas eh, phrasal verbs, son expresiones de ver verbales o expresiones idiomáticas 
lo que nosotros usamos en El Salvador, right? Like, we use a lot of expressions in El Salvador, guys, que son nuestros propios idioms. Uh, for example, let me think. ¿Qué es un salvadoreñismo, guys? What is an expression that we get, that we totally understand? Probablemente no te metas en camisa de once varas, you know? So, literalmente es otra cosa. And we are talking about problems, situations. Uh, ¿Usan ustedes algún idioma? Do you use idiomatic expressions? Buscándole tres patas al gato, ¿saben? Ah, ok, buscándole tres, ok, buscarle tres patas al gato. I think it's five, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pero sí, lo usamos mucho. Any other? Do you use another one, guys? Usamos bastante, so we use a lot. Camarón que se duerme se lo lleva a la um, mm -hmm. Exacto, el que madruga a Dios le ayuda, right? En, literalmente es algo bien diferente a lo que quiere decir. So you're right, esas son nuestras idioms too. So here we have a couple of eight examples of idioms that we're going to be using. But again, uh, no vamos, we are not going to uh, translate them, no vamos a traducirlos. Vamos a solamente intentar tener una idea de what they mean, right? For example, así casa dog. Have you heard this? Uh, okay, first, de las expresiones que están acá, ¿han escuchado un, alguna antes? Under the weather too. There is something going around. My stomach is killing me. Take, Take it, it easy. easy. Can't afford to. Calling sick or tip to ship. ¿Alguna de ellas les suena familiar? Are you familiar with any? Take it easy. Take it easy. Okay, what is take it easy? Eh, algo tranquilo, tranquilizate. Exactly, como ah, bajarle la intensidad, sí. right? Ajá. Probablemente chill out, right? Tranquilo, exactly. Sí. So, it is a, it is a, uh, exactly, calm down. So take it easy. Like, ah, oh, relax it, right? Relax it a little bit. Okay. ¿Y los demás guys? Están relacion, uh, fam, ¿Les parecen conocidas otra expresión de las que están acá? Killing me. Killing me. Ok, my stomach is killing me. Mm, what do you think it, it means? ¿Qué cree que significa? What do you think it means? It's like matando. Como que me está... As, me sé... Sí, como traducir como... Me está matando. Excelente. Y ya. So, menos literal. <laughs> <laughs> so, less literal. Uh -huh. I think you get the idea. <laughs> ok. Pero menos, menos literal lo, lo usamos para dolores, right? So, we use it for pains. Uh, so, we can say, my stomach is killing me. Uh, my head. Los que sufren de migrañas. So my, my head is killing me. ¿Qué otra parte del cuerpo les duele, guys? Entrando los 30 duele mucho diferentes partes del cuerpo. So, what hurts? ¿Qué les duele, guys? Maybe the back? My leg. Your legs, your feet. La espalda, right? So your my back. My back is killing me. Uh, my shoulders are killing me or my hands are killing me. Que nos trabajan con herramientas, so probably you have a physical work, so you are more prone to say this. Um, so yeah, lo utilizamos para hablar de dolores. Um, any other? And tenemos acá un par de dibujitos que representan también some expressions. Eh, for example, the person who is sick. Tenemos acá la persona haciendo ejercicio, like doing some exercise or getting ready. Y tenemos a esta persona que está así como que bien down, right? So, ellos representan parte de esas expresiones, too. So, let's get familiar with the rest. Familiaricémonos entonces con el resto. Y veamos what they mean. Um, one sec. No, I didn't copy. Okay. So, let me just present it. And guys, vamos a revisar un poquito eh, parte del material que ustedes tienen. This is in page number 33. And we have the situation. So it says, Jenny is sick. Ahorita les presento, give me one moment. Okay, so it says, Jenny is sick. And she calls her boss to explain what the problem is. 
listen to their teacher and read the conversation, then practice with a partner. So, uh, Jenny is sick. Y ella necesita reportarlo. She needs to report it. Um, guys, ¿tienen un proceso ustedes para reportar? Do you have like any process? ¿O a quién le llaman? ¿O, les, o escriben en WhatsApp? What do you do cuando están enfermos? I, I report call. to my boss. Okay, so you do you call your boss or do you write a WhatsApp? I call him. Okay, so you call your boss. And guys, los demás, what do you do? WhatsApp to WhatsApp to. WhatsApp, okay. A WhatsApp. It's more practical probably to send a yeah. WhatsApp, right? Than calling a person. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, this person is saying, oh, I feel really bad, right? And, well, se está reportando que está enfermo. Guys, let me have some people uh, read the conversation. Guys, ¿quién quiere leer? Who wants to read? Mi teacher. Perfect. Thank you, Maurice. Help us with Mi Mr. Teacher. Ruiz. Thank you, Dinora. Help us with Jenny, please. Okay. Start. Okay. okay. Yes, please. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me. What's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is kill, killing me. I'm a sick dog. Okay. I understand. Two days ago, I was a feeling <laughs> under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah? I mean, TikTok chef. Mm -hmm. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay, thank you so much. So, exactly. So, the person says, oh, I'm feeling really bad. So, tenemos esa expresión, my stomach is killing me, right? Te le duele mucho el estómago in this case. I'm as sick as a dog. What do you think this means? I am as sick as a dog. Dog de chucho. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> enfermo como en El Salvador, ah, es como, estoy muy enfermo, right? Pero en vez de decir, I'm very sick. We say, I am as sick as a dog. Es como, ya me estoy muriendo, you know? <laughs> so, okay. I am as sick as a dog. Me siento muy Otra mal. Otra cosa right? dice, todo de chucho. Ajá, uh -huh. como todos, cuando tenemos gripe, right? Uh -huh. Or we have some coughing. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But this person says, I am as sick as a dog. Estoy muy enfermo. Um, and it says, two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, I understand. Este Mr. Ruiz is being genial, guys. It's really nice. So he's not like, hey, go to Seguro, hey, bring me the, the medical leave. No, de un solo, you know. Vaya descansar, you know. Really, really cool. So he says, two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. What do you think it is? ¿Qué le pudo haber pasado dos días ago para que le diga, I understand? I was feeling under the weather. No lo traduzcan, right? Algún, Again. Uh, algún no virus que anda en el ambiente. Ah, exactly, exactly. So, because más abajito le dice, I understand, two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Si se fijaron en el dibujito que les mostré antes, uh, feeling under the weather, es como sentirse mal o estar down. Um, vean el dibujito que está aquí en la esquina, please. Look at the drawing mm -hmm. here. So, está la sombrilla, it's raining. Pero vean el rostro de la persona, right? He's like, ooh, super down. Entonces, feeling under the weather es sentirse mal. No estar enfermo, pero to feel down, right? Um, so, and then the girl says, ah, oh, there must be something going around. Exactly what Mauricio says. Como hay algo en el clima, algún virus, you know. So, algo que está y está afectando a todo el mundo, right? So, something viral. Um, I hope you feel better. Oh, I hope you are feeling better. 
Espero que te mejores, okay. right? I hope you are feeling better. I hope you feel better. Oh yeah, I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy. Oh, oh yeah, I'm in tip top shape. What is I am in tip top shape? Si se sentía mal hace dos días. What is, again, no lo traduzcan, solo intentemos encontrarle sentido. It says, I hope you're feeling better. Espero que estés mejor. Oh, yeah, I am in tip-top shape. Como estoy mejorando. Estoy mejorando, exactly. So, I am in tip-top shape. Es, ya estoy con buena salud, estoy en buena condición. Uh, ya me siento bien. Exactly. So, I'm in tip-top shape. And then the person says, take it easy, right? Como tómelo con calma, relájese, right? No worries, etc. So, um, we are going to be using some of these para hablar del tema de ahora, que es enfermedades, but to get started, let's take a look at the vocabulary here. Again, tenemos acá eh, un par de idioms or idiomatic expressions, right? And tenemos acá abajo el significado, what they mean. For example, my stomach hurts badly. ¿Cuál de estos idioms significa my stomach hurts badly? My este stomach is killing me. My stomach is killing me. Uh -huh. So, otra forma de decirlo es my stomach hurts badly. Me duele, right? I have a terrible pain in my stomach. Ya vamos a revisar partes del cuerpo, guys. No worries. Okay, uh, which of these ones mean to feel very sick? To be very sick. So my stomach is killing me. I'm gonna cross it out. Uh, the second guys, mm, to be very sick. ¿Cuál de estas expresiones significa estoy muy enfermo? I, I am very, very sick. Sick as, sick as dog. As sick as a dog, very good. I'm as sick as a dog. Number three, to relax, to rest. Take it easy. Take it easy, exactly. Oh, no worries, take it easy. Okay. Not feeling well. Ay, hace dos días no me sentía bien. So, how can I say I'm not feeling well? Under the weather too. Under the weather, exactly. So I was under the weather too. No me siento enfermo, solo I'm down. Me siento así como de ánimo bajos, right? Uh, in great condition. Ah, yo soy mejor. I'm in great condition. Tip top shape. Exactly. That is tip top shape number eight. There we go. Uh, I don't have time. Let's submit it y vamos con la siguiente. Uh, están, dejemos esa de último. Number seven. Many people have the same thing. What is that? There is something going around. Very good. There is something going around. Exactly. Como está en el clima, right? Está en el aire. Mm -hmm. There is something going around. To form the office to say you're sick. How do calling you say sick. that? Calling, calling sick. sick. So calling sick is llamar al jefe a reportarme enfermo. So number seven, uh, I'm sorry, no, number six. Don't have time to, es era, can afford to. This one right here, number six, number six. Uh, so como no tengo tiempo que gastar, I can afford to lose time. No, no me da el tiempo. Remember, idiomatic expressions no son literales, no lo tomamos literal, sino es uh, aprenderlas, memorizarlas e intentar comprender qué quieren decir. But ya las vamos a practicar, guys. No se me preocupen, because eh, phrasal verbs and idiomatic expressions toman un poquito de tiempo memorizarla. And we have to memorize them. So, but to get started, to start checking, vamos a revisar este vocabulario. We're gonna just get started with some vocabulary. And guys, really quick, uh, in the chat, I'm going to give you one minute and please 
Uh, can you include in the chat parte del cuerpo, parts of your body que les duelen regularmente? <laughs> so parts of your body that hurt. Ya vimos the stomach, so dejen el stomach de lado. So, but obviously we have some organs, we have parts of your body. So, ¿dónde sentimos dolor regularmente? Where do you have some pain? Ah, uh, okay, okay. We don't want to get there, but yes, okay. So, give me a second. All right, so we got head. Okay. Wait, we have stomach already. Any other part of your body that hurts commonly? Back. Okay, your back. My neck. Your neck. Okay. That includes too? Knee. Oh, the knee. Yes, mister. <laughs> I feel that. I felt it actually. Okay, so tooth, knee. What else, guys? Si tienen dolor de oído, so your ears. Anything else? My feet. Okay, so your feet. My leg. Oh, okay, so your leg. All right, so how can I say tengo dolor en esta parte? Actually, hay varias formas de hacerlo. There are a couple of ways to do that. La más común es solamente decir uh, my head y luego utilizo el verbo que acabamos de ver que era hurts. My head hurts. Ah, oh, me duele la cabeza. My head hurts. My stomach hurts. My back hurts. My neck hurts. Y digo lo mismo con el resto del cuerpo. My knee hurts, my um, ear hurts, my feet, ah, oh, my feet son varios, entonces le quito la S, so my feet hurt, right? Utilizo la S porque estamos hablando de una parte nada más del cuerpo, right? My leg hurts. Now, this is one way to express pain. La otra forma de decir tengo dolor en alguna parte del cuerpo is to say my head is killing me, right? So as the example, my head is killing me, my stomach is killing me, my back is killing me. So this is the most common one, pero hay una más. The only thing is that no siempre aplica para todos, right? So la otra forma es cambiar, no voy a poder hacerlo con todas las partes del cuerpo, but algunas si lo permite. Yo tengo la palabra head, que es cabeza, tengo la palabra ache, que es dolor, entonces yo vengo y yo la uno y se convierte en headache. So headache, dolor de cabeza. And that is a pain already. Tengo stomach. Ah, stomach me lo permite también. So stomach cake. No es tomachache, right? <ríe> stomach cake. Tu dolor de estómago. I get back. Ah, me duele uh, la espalda. Sí es posible decir backache. But it is not very common. So I would say my back is killing me. I have a pain in my back would be more common. Tooth, dolor de dientes, yes. So tooth, thick, right? Uh, dolor de oído también se puede, earache. So son de las palabras más comunes que le vamos a agregar a para convertirlos en dolor. So um, guys, repeat with me, please. Uh, headache. 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 Ache, ache, ache. Mm -hmm. headache, 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 mm -hmm. stomach cake, stomach cake, backache, backache, toothache, 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 earache, earache. Sure. Remember, este último sonido H se pronuncia A. 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 Earache, toothache, backache, stomachache, headache. Right? So, it's just a pain. Pero, again, no siempre se puede. Entonces, es importante aprender otra forma de explicar dónde me duele. So, perfectamente yo puedo decir, my head is killing me. Y ya entendí que es la cabeza, mm -hmm. right? My head is killing me. Um, I have my head hurts. 
Porque, por ejemplo, con el cuello no puedo decir eh, neck cake. Nunca lo he escuchado y creería que no existe, ¿vale? <laughs> Um, entonces utilizo otra forma, right? My neck is killing me. Or si tengo lo que le llamamos torticulitis, en inglés eso recibe el nombre de stiff neck. So I have a stiff neck. I have a pain in my neck. My neck hurt, right? So those are ways. Or knee. I can say my knee is killing me. Oh, sorry, killing me. I forgot the other L. All right, so my knee is killing me. I have a pain in my knee, right? My knee hurts. So, and I can talk about some pains here. Uh, preguntas, uh, guys, questions, eh, doubts. Teacher, eh, yo yeah. he escuchado acerca de, del cuello que dice net pains. I have an, ah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, esa es la otra forma. That's the other way. Um, hay varias formas de decir que me duele algo. So, está is killing me, está the ache. Pero también yo puedo decir, I have a pain in my, y in digo my en hair. qué parte uh, del cuerpo. Uh, exactly. So, I have a pain in my hair. I have a terrible pain in my hair. Ella se entiende que es un dolor. That's why yeah. probablemente he escuchado I have a pain in my neck or I have a neck pain. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Con la espalda creería que es más común en vez de backache, igual utilizar I have a pain in my back um, or okay. I have um, a back pain. Uh -huh. So yes, we use a pain as well para hablar de dolores, right? But again, esto es más común con el cuerpo, partes del cuerpo. But... Hay algunas cosas que sí necesito reportarlas. And, uh, wait a second. Vamos a revisar un poquito de vocabulario with that. And guys, here we have some symptoms, um, common words, common things, whenever we need to explain illnesses. So, tenemos un par de dibujitos. We have a couple of pictures here. Uh, we have some paints, tenemos backache, chicken pox, chicken pox. syrup, uh, dizzy, sí. bandage, yeah. heart attack, yeah. a massage, a stuffy nose, yeah. right? Cuando, cuando estamos congestionados, stuffy nose, yeah. retin, uh, yeah. pills, sore throat, yeah. and doctor. So guys, ¿cuál de estas, which is which? ¿Cuál de estas es, you know, every picture I'm going to give you, uh, like one minute, si hay vocabulario que no conozcan, if you find something new, eh, para que lo revisen, y luego me dicen qué picture pertenece a cada una de las palabras that we have here. Uh, Paolo, good evening. No worries. Eh, Paolo, solo si me ayuda con su nombre, please. Okay, no worries, eh, sir. That's totally fine. Eh, solo para cuestiones de registro y que no me lo vayan a quitar en asistencia or something. Ayúdame con su nombre, por favor. Help me with your name. Okay, guys, I'll give you one minute.
Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and let's check the words and the vocabulary right here. For example, we have a bag cake. Okay, let, let me go over the pictures and you tell me what they represent. Uh, for example, the first one, this one, what is this? The bandage. Five. Five. Ah, okay, bandage, number five, right? So that would be five. What about this one right here? What does it represent? Pills. 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 Exactly. Number 10. Uh, what about the boy? Retching. Retching. Mm, there is another. This is. This is. Easy. Exactly. So that is number four. This. The boy is kind of dizzy. Exactly. Number next one. This. Oh, look. The person bent, and then we have some drawings there. Back, back, como cuando nos nos recogemos algo, right? So that is back, number one. Um, next one, this one, right here. Massage. Ah, that's a massage. Mm -hmm, that's a massage. What about this boy? Chicken box. Pox. Chicken pox. You guys, tuvieron chicken pox by any chance? Yeah. So, tuvieron, uh, how do you call that in Spanish? Varicela. Did you have varicela? Did you have chicken pox? I think it was common, right? Yeah. Most of us. <laughs> okay, what about this one? What is this? It's too finos. It's stuff, you know, so exactly, so like congestionado, right? Congestion nasal. Uh, what about this one? Doctor. Doctor, very nice. Um, What about this one right here? <laughs> like when you take Ambroxol and all those things for the cough, that is? Syrup. Mm -hmm, that's a syrup, yes. Uh, you have it in number three, so that's a syrup. Uh, this one, so what about this man? Sore throat. Sore throat, exactly, number 11. So that's dolor de garganta, right? This one, this old man, the old man here, Hair attacks. Exactly. So that's a heart attack. So tiene un ataque al corazón, right? And the last one is this person who is like green. Mm -hmm. Nos falta una. That is number? Crunchy. Exactly. So that is wrecking, right? So Red. this one, guys. Wrecking. Es como las arcadas, right? Como cuando queremos vomitar. Like when you want to vomit but you can't so that yeah. is uh right thing all right uh let me just go over the next and we have just a couple more here so tenemos un par de expresiones más we have dizzy sneeze fever measles measles aparece mucho chicken pox and bandage and we have this exercise here what are they an illness that makes a small red spots come on your skin. What is that? Illness is enfermedad, right? An illness that makes a small red spots on your skin. Chicken pox, yes. Acá aparece en el ejercicio otra palabra, que es esta de acá, measles, uh, que es el, el sarampión, pero es el, uh, let's say that is kind of similar. Son bastante similares las características. So that would be measles. Number two, if you have it, your body is too hot because you are ill. What is number two? Fever. Fever, very good. The fever. Three. A long piece of white cloth that you put around a part of your body that is hard. What is that? A 
a long piece of white cloth that you put around a part of your body. That is? Bondage. Bandage, very nice, exactly. Number five, send air out of your out of your mouth and nose with a sudden loud noise, for example, because you have a cold. So when you have a cold, you're like, Shoo. so you send some air out. What is that? Fewer. Is mm. sneeze? A sneeze, exactly. That is a sneeze. Very good. Oh, I'm sorry. Me salté el número tres. I skipped number three. Number three says, if you feel it, you feel that everything is turning round and round and you're going to fall. This. Dizzy. Exactly. Very nice. Okay. Okay, guys. Very good. Very good. Very good. Now, give me just a second, eh, because I'm sure you have a lot to tell us. Guys, no tenemos ningún enfermero o enfermera. ¿Alguien de salud acá? No. Ok. <laughs> Un momento. Okay, so I got some questions, guys, for you uh, that are related to these illnesses, experiences, and everything. So let me present my screen over to you. And here we have, guys. Okay, there we go. So here we have practice. What are the most common symptoms or pains you get, right? So donde normalmente les duele o cuáles son Algunos síntomas o algunas illness you get. Uh, how do you say gripe? How do you say, you know, uh, tos and all those things? So vamos a revisarlo. Uh, number two, what do you do when you are feeling as sick as a dog? So si se sienten super enfermos, guys, ¿qué hacen? What do you do? Number three, have you ever called in sick? ¿Qué era call in sick? Do you remember? Reporters enfermos. Mm -hmm. Have you ever called in sick because of a hangover? <laughs> so, a hangover is cuando toman mucho, right? When you drink a lot, it tienen efectos después. So, have you ever called in sick? ¿Alguna vez se han reportado enfermos? Because uh, you over... Ooh, I'm sorry, this is oversleep. Me faltó la este here. Give me one sec. Because se quedaron dormidos, because you overslept. Oh, that's why I made a mistake there. Okay. Because you overslept or uh, because of a hangover or por una... ¿Cómo se llama esto en español, guys? When you drink a lot. Goma. La well, la cruda que le llamamos, right? That's the one. Oh, because of a hangover. Number four, what kind of medicine do you normally take? And do you take natural medicine? So I want you to just discuss it. No vamos a escribir mayor cosa. Probably solamente con el número uno vamos a buscar algunos eh, extra information, like como decir algunas cosas, but otherwise I don't think we'll need to. So give me one moment. Just a second. Okay, guys, so I'm going to ask you to go and join the group. And, uh, okay. So, Blanca, creo que no escucho a Blanca. Blanca, eh, give me one moment. Julio Cesar, eh, Noé. Uh, guys, ¿quién, ¿quién está? Deme un segundo, solamente déjeme confirmar quién está como listener, guys. Give me a second. 
Okay. Okay. So uh, in that case, uh, Mauricio, Dinora, uh, Kevin, nos quedamos acá, please stay here. Uh, okay, Damaris, thank you. Gracias por comentármelo. And uh, one moment. So let me just modify this. Give me one second, guys. Wait a sec. Ah, Blanca está con nosotros. Okay. Yes, that's enough. Okay, guys, so uh, vamos a unirnos a los grupos. We're going to join the groups, right? Um, Julio, Lady, Mauricio, and Dinora, nos quedamos acá. Guys, los demás, vamos, please, a los grupos que les aparecen. Let's go to the groups. Si alguien está como listener, let me know eh, para hacer un cambios acá, right? Y, y que no, eh, no nos afecten much. So, les comparto las... El, en la slide en el grupo también para que podamos practicarla. And uh, guys, eh, so Julio Lady, ustedes no les va a aparecer la invitación. Mauricio y Nora, nos quedamos por acá. Solo voy a cerrar mi micrófono para que ustedes puedan discutir las preguntas que están acá. Right. And guys, los demás, vamos a los grupos, please. Let's go to the groups. Hello, hello. Hola, don Mauricio. Hola, ¿cómo Hello. estamos? Bien, bien. Bueno, lo que primero que tenemos que hacer es la contestar solo la, la pregunta uno o, o todas. Pues dice que la uno le vamos a dar más prioridad. Vaya, entonces. Es que la uno necesita todo? vocabulario, pero todas, vamos a responder todas. Ah, va. Solo que con la uno probablemente vaya a, a salir vocabulario nuevo. Ok. La pregunta es, what are the most common symptoms or pain you get? ¿Cuáles son los síntomas o dolores más comunes que hemos tenido? Bueno, uh -huh. calentura. Fever. 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 Vamos con la uh -huh. primera. Fever. Fever. Eh, Solo Dolores. lo vamos a describir cada uno. Uh, sí. No, no. Fever. Ya sabemos que cuando tenemos fiebre estamos. Solo que ella dice que vamos a tener más vocabulario. Entonces, veamos lo que podemos sacar de nuevo vocabulario para que lo conozcamos todos. Dolor de cuerpo, digamos. Ajá, cabal. ¿Cómo sería? Body, body pain o... También. Ajá, body pain. Body, okay. body pain. Body pain. Body pain. Pain. Ok. Ya está. Dolor de Bien, Mareo, ¿cómo se dice? 
Mareo. Disney. 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 Otro es oh, unidad. El... ¿What? Dolor en el pecho. Vamos a agregar más. Sí. Oh, Una más. Dolor en el pecho. Es... ¿Cómo es? Eh, che, ¿cómo se dice pecho? Chef. Chef. Paying the food. ¿Cómo? Ah, yeah, yeah. Paying the chef. Paying the chef. Okay. Bye. Ahí quedamos. Uh -huh. Paying the chef. Paying the chef. Okay. Vamos con la dos. What do you want? What do you when you are feeling as if? A dog. ¿Qué es lo que hacemos cuando nos sentimos enfermos? Como chucho. <ríe> Entonces. Yo I pienso go... que lo correcto sería como visitar al doctor. Ajá. I go visit the doctor. I go visit the doctor. To doctor. Take a medicine. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Take a mm -hmm. medicine. O a, a, mm -hmm. automedicarse, va. Mm -hmm. sí. oh. Como tomar, tomar algo, va. Sí. O mm -hmm. pill. Take a medicine, entre paréntesis, pill. Ok. Va. ¿Qué otra? Hay otro que visan cur Cero visitan curanderos. Automedicar. <ríe> ah. No, pero ya no, ya no. <ríe> Yo creo que este vive, este vive en Sonsonate. No. <ríe> no, yo, yo trabajo allí en, ¿cómo se llama? Lo cuilta y ella me dice, pues tengo que llevar a mi niño porque tiene, tiene ojo. Me... ¿Y a dónde ah. le salió el otro ojo? Le digo yo. Pero son creencias, pues, mi modo. Sí, sí. Dios. Bueno. ¿Cuál otro? Auto Medicaid. ¿Sí? Me dijeron ahí, vea. Aunque no es correcto, pero. Con las siete minutos. ¿Mm? Sí, auto Medicaid. Sí, sí. Sorry. The next question. Okay. Ser, ¿cómo se dice? Okay. Automedicarse, ¿cómo es? Self medical. Medicaid. Ah, self medical. Self. Mm -hmm. Sí. Medicaid. Okay. Vamos a dice, si quieren nos pasamos a la tres para tener algo más. Okay. Have you ever called in sick because Have of... you ever Ajá. Uh -huh. Eso dice alguna <ríe> vez alguna vez ha llamado enfermo un, por una resaca. Por no. una goma. Sí. No. no, esa sí la contestamos y ahí queda. No. No. No drink. Alcohol. No, alcohol drink. ¿Cómo se? A little bit. No drink. Para el 24, 31. ¿no? Pero está de vacaciones. Ok. Ajá. 
what kind of the medicine you do you normally take? Do you take natural medicine? Yes, like some tea. 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 Dream so dream some tea. ¿Cuál? La cuatro vamos, va. Yes, sí. la cuatro. ¿Y qué tipo? de medicamento toma usted normalmente oh. de manzanilla <ríe> eh bueno ajá uh -huh. bueno, para que depende va porque sí. de cuando qué de tiempo diente, cuando es diente estresado ¿verdad? un tecito un té ¿verdad? son té son uh -huh. té Ajá. ¿Cómo se dice? Tí. Manzanilla. ¿Cómo se dice manzanilla? El té de hojas de limón es muy bueno para dormir, para relajarse. Ah, de veras. O el té de jengibre para la garganta uh -huh. también. Jengibre. Ginger, ¿verdad? Ginger. Ginger tea. De, de hojas de limón. Ah, hojas de limón. Mm -hmm. Sí, de lemos libre, así se dice. ¿Cómo se escribe hoja? Hoja, libre. Le aves, creo yo que escribe. No, no es cierto. No, 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 no estoy seguro, no estoy seguro. O solo pongamos lemon tea. De acuerdo. Sí. ¿Qué otra? ¿Qué otra médica hemos tomado? Para el dolor de cabeza, acetaminofén. Sí. Ah, no, pero son naturales, les dije, ¿verdad? Sí. Son para la viajera, hojas de guayabo. Ajá, también. O hay otra hoja que es común para las la congestión, congestión nasal. ¿Cómo es que se la, llama? La de eucalipto. Exactamente. Eso. Bueno, a mis hijos les aplicaba eso, ¿verdad? Yo también al mío. <risa> Entonces Vapores, pongamos ¿no? hojas de o, ese es, es el vapor de hojas de eucalipto. Pa. Pero ¿cómo lo decimos? Ahí tal vez la teacher que nos está monitoreando ahí. <risa> uh, what is the word, guys, that you need? Eucalipto. We um... need to translate vapores de hoja de eucalipto. Eucalyptus leaf sting. No. Eucalyptus stem. Let me see. This. It's not just eucalyptus. Mm, you can use uh, vapors. Yeah, yeah. Mm, vapor, mm -hmm, what yeah, do you, you say? Vapor. Uh, vapor. vapor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> vapor. Uh -huh. Vapor. Okay. Yes. Like the steam. Yeah, vapor or steam. Yeah, both work. Mm -hmm. Especially with this COVID, right? So we yeah. use a lot of vapors or, oh, or wow. in inhalations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eucalyptus vapor. Cuando tiene dolores de pie, algo ah, natural. Algo natural. Ahí sí, no. 
water and salt. What? Water. Water. And water. Agua. Water and salt. Sal. Ah, agua and sal. Bueno, eso no lo sabía. Ya voy a water, probar. Cool or hot? Es agua con sal, dice. Ajá, pero caliente o helado. Tibia. Tibia. Sí. Tibia. Tibia. Entonces, en inglés es tibia, tibia. Es warm, salt, water. Así es. Warm, salt, water. Water thing, not Okay. This is the last one. What other? Bueno, hay unas hojas que le ponen también para inflamación. Yo sé que la semilla de aguacate si se pone a hervir y se tritura al parecer y se coloca así en en la parte que duele es bueno. Mm. Uh -huh. Podemos, ¿cómo podemos decir eso? Sería. Lo podemos hervir, va. Entonces. Pero sería la semilla de, del aguacate. Ah, nos ponemos la semilla de aguacate, uh -huh. la trituramos entonces. Sí, ajá, eso sería. Ah, podemos sí. poner una masa de aguacate es servida, ¿no? No, no. Masa. En todo caso de la semilla. Sí. Uh -huh. Masa de la semilla de aguacate, pero. ¿Cómo poner más? Eh, ahorita estoy viendo. Masa. El dog. Más. Es. ¿Ah? Eh, masa. Uh -huh. Es que depende eh, la, a la orientación que le damos. Ajá. ¿Es masa de maíz o, o estamos Yo hablando creo... palabra física? Ajá. O la masa Ay. de un cuerpo. Aguacate, abocado. Eh, masa, más. Y si lo dejamos así como crema. Cream. Uh -huh. uh, podemos poner cream o aguacate. Avocado. 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 Ajá, avocados. Ajá, cream. Avocados cream. Ajá. Solo el avocado cream. Sí, eh, sería como este crema de aguacate. Avocados. Sí. Okay. Avocados cream. O podemos poner. Eu, eugento, ¿cómo es? Bueno, así está bien. ¿Para qué lo vamos uh -huh. a complicar? Guay. Ya estamos listos. Si quieres, repetimos las primeras, de la primera que pusimos hasta la última. Ok. Ok. En la primera, the word the most common is symptom of pain you get. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Tenemos cuánto? Fever. 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 Body pain. Body pain, headache, 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 Ad, as, ad hoc. <risa> lo eh, primero que notamos es a Fierce. Visit. 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 A doctor. A doctor. Take a, a medicine. 
entre paréntesis, pill. Uh -huh. Pill. Eh, Automedicate o self-medicate. Medicate. Uh -huh. Bye. Eh, en la tercera. Eh... Hey, Juanjo, bienvenido, hombre. Hey, ¿qué, ¿Qué onda? pasa, pues? <risa> Creo que me movieron de grupo, güey. Eh. <laughs> no, no worries. Uh, we are coming back. That's why you you came just back. <laughs> That's not. Uh, I think everybody's back now. All right, guys. So let's go over like number one. Uh, question one says like the most common symptoms, pains. I forgot to include the word illness. Que son enfermedades, right? Uh, so what are the most common illness that you suffer, guys, that you get? So especially with COVID, we got to have like very common symptoms all the time. So any, what do you have in number one? Did you get new vocabulary? Uh, yeah. Common symptoms, maybe headache. Okay, so headache. Flu. Fever. Okay, flu, fever. Backache, dizziness, okay, or dizzy. Guys, how do you say toser? Or tos? Flu. Mm, but flu would be like a la gripe, right? Uh -huh. Or cold, el resfriado. Yeah. But toser? Uh, Creo que no estaba oh, before. Yes, maybe. exactly. So cough, yes. So we have coughing or cough. Uh huh. What else? Pain to chest. Chest. Chest pain. Pecho. Uh huh. Chest pain. Okay. So chest a pain, pain in the chest. Okay. So chest. Short what? Short. Sore throat. Like dolor de garganta. Sore throat. Yes. Okay. So sore throat. All right. Anything Soco de else? Pollo, <laughs> so far, so what? <laughs> do you say so far or do you say something else? Toco de pollo. Ah, really? <laughs> I didn't know. I knew it as moquillo, but I think <laughs> <laughs> that's in dogs, I believe. Okay. Um, algo más, guys? Anything else? Stomach cake, indigestion, diarrhea. Blue recession. Uh, uh, Hector? Vision, bo vision borrosa? Ah, blurry vision. Blur what do you say? Blurred. Blurred. Yeah, blurry vision. vision. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. Okay. All What right. Do you say dificultad para respirar? Shortness. Shortness of breath. Shortness of breath. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah, I think it was super common, right? Because uh, I got those, ya tuvimos COVID at some point. O una gripe super fuerte. So I think that we are kind of, um, you know, familiar with this. Hay algo que se me olvidó que es sore muscle. Eh, so sore muscle se refiere al dolor de cuerpo. So we can say body pain and it's okay. Pero sore muscle es como oh. el dolor en los músculos, Hopefully. en las articulaciones and everything. So sore muscle. All right. Uh, number, yeah. Vomit. Ah, vomit Vomitar. or throw up. Mm -hmm. Vomiting too. Okay. Let's jump to number two. What do you do when you're feeling as sick as a dog? <laughs> Guys, ¿qué hacen cuando está muy mal? What do you do? Go to the doctor. You go to the doctor. Okay. Take a snap. Take a nap. Ah, okay. Como una siesta, right? Take a nap. Uh -huh. Maybe self-medicate. Self-medicate? Okay, so take an acetaminophen or something yeah. very common. Okay. Okay. Not bad, but yeah, we do it. All right. Number three, guys. Have you ever called in sick because of a hangover? <laughs> ¿Alguna I, vez se reportado enfermo de way? No, I don't drink no. alcoholic drink. Oh, okay. No, I don't remember. You can't remember. <laughs> okay, have you called in sick because you overslept? 
como porque se quedaron dormidos en ya es tarde y es como ay voy a llamar que estoy enfermo so have you ever called in sick because you ever slept no teacher no no, no. no because ay, in my case yeah. if I say yes. I am sick I have to uh, give an something that Um, que he ido go to the doctor and oh, for the reason I can say I am sick. Oh, you need to present evidence. Okay. Oh, okay. But you can go to Seguro Social, you know, in, in Seguro Social you can get a doctor's leave. Mm -hmm. So, la incapacidad le llamamos doctor's leave, right? Yes, or sick leave. Mm -hmm. So, you can get a doctor's leave or you can get a sick leave. Sick leave. That is the incapacidad. Sick leave or doctor oh, sleep. Okay. Eh, van a encontrar otra palabra, but no es para um, incapacidad de enfermedad, right? That is the one. Okay, number four, guys. Guys, what kind of medicine do you normally take? Do you take natural medicine? Um, so if you are feeling just under the weather, if you are like, oh, feeling down, do you take anything? Or not really, or you go to the doctor? No, I drink lemon tea. No, okay, so some tea. Mm -hmm. I take a ginger, ginger. Ginger tea. Yeah. Oh, okay, pero para refrios, right? For colds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So ginger tea, lemon tea. Okay, there are a lot of teas that are really, really nice. And really delicious indeed. Okay. Thank you so much, guys, for that. So let's go ahead and give me one second here. Give me one moment. Okay. Okay, guys, take a look at the following exercise right here in your material. So at the bottom, oh, no, no ha cambiado, wait. No, como no, ya vemos pantalla, qué raro. Okay, so here guys, at the bottom, we have this exercise number six. And number six says, um, give me one sec, it's right here. So you are sick and calling to your workplace to explain the situation, all right? Uh, and then we are going to attend the call and ask your classmates what the matter is. Como pregunto, um, ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Cuál es el problema? Uh, no voy a preguntar what is the problem because if se recuerdan el día de ayer decíamos que no vamos a usar la palabra problem, sino vamos a utilizar la palabra issue. Pero aún así, cuando hablamos de enfermedad o ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Tienes algo? Vamos a utilizar la pregunta What is the matter? Como la conversación, right? Uh, or usamos la pregunta What is wrong? So, no preguntemos what is the problem porque problem involucra ya algo que está muy mal, right? So what is the matter? What is wrong? Uh, what is going on? So what is going on? Porque queremos saber qué está pasando, right? Uh, so guys, imagínate que you le van can, a reportar a su... Yes, Julio. You can say what happened. Yes, aunque what oh, happened? Oh, what's, what's going on? What's going on sounds better. What happened? It's okay. Pero what happened es como para saber detalles que de algo que ha pasado, you know? Como, um, imagínese que le digo, hey, Julio, I made a mistake. Y ahora usted pregunte, ¿qué pasó? So what happened? What's up? Mm -hmm. uh, no, what's up? No. No. <laughs> so, más como what happened. Uh -huh. Pero si es uno como, um, hey, Juanjo, I wanted to call you because I'm not feeling well. So, si me dice que no, no se siente bien, entonces sí yo le puedo decir, okay, what's the matter, right? ¿Qué le sucede? Or what's wrong? ¿Qué mm -hmm. está mal? ¿Cómo se siente? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, that's why. What happened is más okay. como para eventos. Más para uh, cosas uh, que pasan. How do you feel? Claro. <clears throat> yes, of course. We can use how do you feel, pero si yo le digo, tengo dolor de cabeza, or tuve un día terrible, or something, right? Depende del contexto. So, how do you feel? 
How do you feel? Uh, how are you feeling, sir? How are you feeling? How in, even puedo usar el how are you doing? Are you well, teacher? Mm, uh, yes, of course. Are you doing well? Are you doing well or solo are you well? Mm -hmm. You are okay? Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Uh, but, uh, but of course, todo depende de que me diga, right? Si la persona me dice, hey, boss, I'm calling because I'm dying. <laughs> Oh my God. So, es como le voy a decir, are you okay? Si ya me dijo que el próximo ya está you know, super bad. So, everything depends on your context, right? So, guys, vamos a crear una, un breve diálogo. Uh, y solo les voy a pedir very important things. Please, no lo escriban. Don't write it. Intenten crearlo eh, en la mente, you know, eh, tal vez al, al momento escribir una oración nada más, pero no escriban toda la conversación. Vamos a intentar hacerlo sin escribirlo today. Solo practíquenlo como les vaya saliendo, lo más natural que se pueda, right? And then we're going to present a couple of people here. So give me one moment. I'm not sure if they are here or not. Okay, guys, I'm going to send you there. Algunos compañeros creo que eh, are going to be here as listeners. Si ese es el caso, eh, hay un botoncito que aparece como pedir ayuda. Please márquenlo eh, para saber que algún compañero eh, no les está respondiendo o solamente es listener in your group. So, guys, creemos una conversación, but súper importante, no le escriban. Don't write it. Intenten hacerla like, uh, hey boss, pueden utilizar el ejemplo que está en la conversación, utilizando también los, las idiomatic expressions, I'm feeling under the weather, I'm in tip, I am in tip top shape, um, what else, I feel, creo que la que les gustó, I am feeling as sick as a dog, <laughs> uh, and uh, all the idioms that we can include, right? Guys, tenemos cinco minutos, we got five minutes, intenten de una sola vez tener la conversación, and then we present. So let's go. Pueden inventar cualquier enfermedad. That's totally fine.
All right, guys, so welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back. And um, we were preparing this little um, phone call, right? In which you need to call in sick, or in other words, call and say that you are feeling bad and probably you won't be going. I was telling some guys, like, intenting hacerlo lo más realista posible, like, how real, as realistic as you can. And uh, I think it was, uh, I'm not, I don't remember very well. Oh, the Maris, I believe. So the Maris tenía un, tiene un jefe like super amazing. Que es como vaya a descansar, you know, like 10 more, day, 10 more days, right? Eight more days. I don't remember. But, but not in every case is that way. Sometimes, as we were discussing with uh, Mr. Sanchez, a, a veces tenemos jefes. Un poco tóxico también, kind of toxic too. So guys, let's see what kind of boss you have here. Guys, who is ready? ¿Quién está listo with the conversation? Remember, la idea no es escribirlo, que no salga lo más natural posible. Si hay errores, que hayan errores, right? Make mistakes, guys, son parte del proceso. So, and the idea is that, right? Quitarnos un poquito el cuaderno and just try to say it and do it. Um, so, who's ready, guys? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, Hector, very nice. Hector, in your group, I see Dinora, right? Yes, yeah. Tisha. Okay, perfect, yes. guys. Who is going to be the boss? Intenten no leerlo. Si tomaron notas, try not to read it. Um, ¿Quién es el jefe? Who is the boss? Hector. Ah, okay, Hector. Okay, Hector. Go ahead. So, okay. vamos a hacerle acá el tono de llamada. So, ring, ring. <laughs> Uh, I, Hola. Hector. Hola. Teacher. Creo que perdimos. Perdimos sí, a Hector. Hector. Creo que se le está cortando un poquito, Hector. No se escucha. Can you listen to us? No. Hector. No sé si a mí. Guys, ustedes me escuchan. Será mi internet. Good morning, Abel. No, se le escucha cortado. Hey, hello. Hector, ¿verdad? Uh, se me está cortando el audio, no sé por qué. Se me está, cort se me está cortando. No, sí, ok, se no corta. worries, no worries. So, hello. mientras eh, se les... Hi, nosotros sí lo oímos, Héctor. Ya lo escuchamos. We can hear you. Teacher, hoy sí, no sé si me escuchan. Sí, ya lo escuchamos mejor, mucho mejor. Okay. Bueno. O ok, iniciamos entonces. Ok. Yes. Prim -prim okay perfect. Prim -prim ring. Hello, good morning, Abigail. Good morning, boss Hector. I feel it, but. Uh, what is the matter? I have a stomach fever and, and headache. Oh, I recommend you to visit the doctor right now and ask her, a doctor leave, please. I tell a doctor right now, boss. Thank you. I hope you will be married tomorrow. Okay, bye. Bye. Ring, ring. Good morning. Can I help you? Good morning, doctor. I'm sick. Oh, that's too bad. What is wrong? I have a stomachache, fever, and headache. The symptom is very heavy. Okay. I recommend you for stomachache to take a alka seltzer and for fever and headache to take a Tylenol. After, please you take a exam. And I give you a doctor leave for three days. You can present the document in your company. Okay, doctor. I love, I follow the indication or your indication. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Bye. Bye. Oh, that was really nice. Okay, that was really good. Um, I'm missing the toxic boss, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was really nice, guys. That was like really cool. All right, thank you. Guys, who else is ready? Can you don't have a toxic guys? <laughs> Me. Okay, perfect. So who said me? Julio. Okay. Julio, ¿quién está en su grupo? Who is in your group? O con quién practicaron? Con José y no remember la chica. Okay, wait. So I'm gonna get it here. So Juanjo and Lady, creo, pero Lady tenía problemas para Solo podía escribir, sí. Ah, cierto. Ok. Ok, vale, perfect. So, ¿Quién va a ser el jefe, guys? Who is going to be the boss? Julio. Juanjo o Julio. Julio. Ok, Julio. Julio sea un jefe súper tóxico, please. Try to be as toxic as you can. Hello, Julio. Hey, hello, Juanjo. Um, I'm not feeling well today. Oh, really? That's wrong, uh -huh. I have a terrible headache and my back is killing me. Oh, really? You need to take some medicine? Yes, because I am sick as a dog. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, but I think so is under the weather too. Really? What's wrong with you? I I feel bad yesterday, but right now I feel tiptoe sure. But you need to go to the visit the doctor because I need to to bring of the company your sick leave. Okay. I hope you are feeling better. And in my case, I will go to see to a doctor and I will call you after that. Okay, nice. If you need something else, let me know. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Goodbye. See you next Monday, I hope. Okay. <laughs> Have a good day. Okay. That's pretty nice, actually. No, Julio was not toxic. <laughs> I was expecting something more like, um, I don't know, cuando él me said, no, oh, yo también me siento, I'm like under the weather, like, but I went to work or I'm here at work. I don't know, something more toxic, you know, like calm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but that was really nice, guys. That was really, really nice. Okay, who else is missing? Mauricio, who was in your group? Yeah, with Kenja. Oh, okay, sir. Kenja. Kenja. Ready, Kenja? Wait, what is Kenja, or Kenja? Kenya. Kenya. Okay. When? Okay. Hi, I was like, hey, ready? Mr. Keto, mispronouncing your name. Are you ready? Yes, but okay. uh, our conversation was more a friend than a boss. <laughs> oh, well, no problem. That's okay. okay. That's all right. Okay, sir. Hello, Kenya. How how you been? I feel bad. Yesterday, I have fever and cold. Can you visit the doctor? Yes, I went to the doctor. Are you taking medicine? Yes, of course. What what kind of medicine do you have? I have acetaminophen, carbotuxin, and sudagrip. Oh. oh. Okay. That you continue better. Okay, thank you. You're very Bye. kind. See you soon. Okay. Finish. Okay.
<laughs> okay, nice. Yeah, I was more like a friend, but uh -huh, you know, with my friends, I'm, I'm, I'm terrible, I think, because I'm like, oh, I have to go to whenever they tell me that they are sick. <laughs> so I'm no, no, has enseñado a ser tóxico them. en la en uh -huh, en no, compañía. That's what I see. No, but like a co-worker, right? <laughs> sounds definitely nice. Oh, but that okay. was really good, guys. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm missing, Papa, let welcome. me see. I'm missing. Um, no, they are not. Mm, yes, your Gina's and the Maris. So, girls, if you are ready, let's go for it. Um, hello, Georgina. Yes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Um, Georgina, I don't feel good today. Um, repeat this. I don't feel good today. Uh, what's the merit? I have a diarrhea. Um, it, it, to take um. Medicine? Yes, I I go to the doctor. Oh. Um. I, give me a permission to go buy medicine. Uh, yes, uh, can I go? Thank you. Finish teacher. Oh, okay. And I understand that she gave you permission to go and get the medicine, right? Okay, guys. Wow, I'm super impressed. Nobody had like like uh, toxic behavior. So like I'm practicing with Jorge. <laughs> So I was telling Jorge, like, oh, Jorge, I feel so toxic, you know, because I was asking him like for more information. All right, guys, but nice. I think we reached. The objective, right, is expresar que estamos mal, que estamos enfermos, and the use of some idioms. Guys, el día de ayer les pedí que revisaran un par de verbos, so let me, antes de irnos solamente, eh, preguntarle un par de verbos de los que estamos, de los que tenemos por acá, el pasado y el pasado participio. So let me just pick some volunteers, well, más víctimas que volunteers, so give me a sec. <laughs> um, let me find them. Let me find them. Let me find them here. Okay, guys, eh, tuvieron, eh, pudieron practicar un poquito, al menos cinco verbos. Did you try to memorize five? Se aprendieron más de cinco. Six. Six. Okay. Hay unos que son similares o al mismo que el pasado, entonces son los que van a ser más fáciles para ustedes. All right, guys. So let's go with eh, Juanjo. Juanjo, tell us the past and past participle of go. Okay, go. Past is went mm -hmm. and participle goes. Casi, 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 okay. casi. Okay. Casi solo, I think the last sound, uh, gone, right? So, uh -huh. Creo okay, que gone. Goes. Uh -huh. gone, 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 okay. that's all right. Very nice, there we go. Mauricio, what's the past and past participle of the verb say, decir? Say, so. Uh, but decir, say. Say. Uh, mm -hmm. Como la canción, say, say you say me. Say, say, mm -hmm. is say, mm -hmm. exactly, it's the same. Very nice, Hector. What is the past and past participle of come? Come, k, okay, come. Very nice. Um, mm, mm, Julio, what about take? Take, 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 take. Maybe Julio's not here. Uh, let me check. Kenya, take. 
uh, present take past talk and past participle taken. Okay, very nice. There we go. Um, Sorry, Jorge. Teacher. Oh, no worries, no worries, Julio. You're fine. What is the past and past participle of work? Work like trabajar, right? Work. Work. Es regular. It's Present. a regular verb. Past is working. Mm -hmm. And participle is worked too. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's the same. So worked, worked, and worked. Yeah, so that would be the same. All right. So, guys, uh, for tomorrow, les voy a agregar cinco verbos más. I'm going to add five more verbs. Um, again, si se los quieren aprender de esta lista, it's okay. Si los quieren tomar eh, al azar, si les funciona tomarlos al azar, no hay ningún problema. La idea es que estos son de los más comunes that we can get. So, para mañana, guys, vamos hasta el número 10. Tenemos say, make, go, take, come, see, know de saber, get, give, hasta find. Si pueden eh, practicar un par de verbos adicionales, that's okay. And si tienen tiempo, guys, no les va a tomar mucho eh, revisar los verbos regulares también, especialmente la pronunciación. Um, so, give me one moment. So, guys, creo que por ahí alguien ya le había tomado captura a los verbos, solamente el 10, los 10 primeros. Para el lunes vamos a agregarle 5 más, sol, sol, no, serían los 15. Eh, para martes 5 más, hasta llegar a los 20, you know. And so forth, vamos a ir agregándole de tal manera que um, we always include new vocabulary here. Eh, so guys, solamente déjenme tomar asistencia really quick. Eh, Ezequiel está acá, no, right? Falta Ezequiel. Blanca was here. Y a los demás ya los tengo por acá. Ya los anoté. Ok. Ok, guys. So ya tomé asistencia. I already took attendance. No worries. Um, so, thanks everybody. Eh, les agradezco por acompañarnos eh, like today. Recordemos para mañana trabajar los primeros 10 verbos. Solamente denle una repasadita antes de la clase, all right? O en cinco minutos que tengan libres para que vayamos agregando más vocabulario too. Thanks everybody. Have a good night and I'll be seeing you tomorrow. See you, see you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Guys. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye. bye Nice Thursday. Bye, Hector. Bye, Paolo. Bye, Noé. See you, see you.